Hello, hello. First of all, thank you for checking out this video. So I got some onions and some bell peppers when they were on sale and decided to make this very flavorful quiche. So to start off, I made a brise by cubing 90 grams of cold butter and added that to 180 grams of flour and rub the cold butter into the flour. It seemed odd at first, but eventually came to a mixture like cornmeal. This mealy texture is theoretically best for quiches because it has more resistance to the liquid of the royale and not be soggy after baked. Now that's 50 grams of eggs and 10 grams of water with 3 grams of salt dissolved in it. I would have used all eggs, but one egg is 50 grams or so. So I didn't want to crack another egg. And most of us know about this rule about not over mixing your dough for any pie crusts or any short pastry doughs because you don't want too much gluten development. So I just very gently mixed the dough a little bit after everything came together. And then it's to be wrapped in cold chill and rest in the fridge for the next step. Uh, this is the filling part. I very badly julienned three medium, medium large bell peppers. And then I cut up two small onions. Now with a pinch of salt and a little bit of water to help draw the moisture out, I put the onions on medium heat and let it cook itself, stirring occasionally to avoid burning. It did stick to the bottom a little bit and started to burn, so I tried to deglaze it with a little bit of water and kept cooking it and stirring it once in a while until it turned... not that. Until this. Using the same pot, I added a little bit of oil and dumped in all the cut peppers and quickly sauté them and season them accordingly. It's not weird to use a spoon in a pot to sauté, right? I kept cooking it until it's kind of soft enough to be cut using a spoon. Then the two fillings are ready. Look at the tripod. Decided to give up and slide down. Now the dough been chilled for about half an hour. It's time to roll it out. This recipe makes a 9 inch glass dish I usually use. As per usual, roll out the dough to a little bit bigger than the dish or pan itself and roll the dough over onto the rolling pin, lift it to the dish and unroll. Trim off any excess and now is one of my favorite parts, fluting the edges. Here's a close-up of how I was taught to do. Dock the dough. Now it's time to blind bake. I didn't bother to cut a beautiful round parchment, so I just crumpled it up. Put on some beans or rice so the crust doesn't puff up during baking. And it went into a 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius oven for 20 minutes with beans on. Then I took the beans out and baked it for another 15 minutes. Once the crust was done blind baking and cooled down, I proceeded to the last step, assembly. The first layer is the yummy caramelized onions, and then I choose these sautéed bell peppers. On top is a layer of shredded cheese. I just used whatever I had on hand, i.e. something that was on sale, and that's roughly 155 grams of cheese. The last component is the royale that I forgot to film. 
It's a mixture of two eggs, 200 grams of 35% cream, or milk if you prefer, half a teaspoon of salt, some ground pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. Whisk everything together and stir it very well before adding to the crust. Now the final bake. It took me another 35 minutes in a 350 degree Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius oven and of course I rotated it halfway for a more even bake. Now tasting time. The buttery flaky brise crust with a very rich rail are just so good together and the caramelized onions are just sweet and so flavorful. The sautéed bell peppers are soft but not too soft and it's really juicy. Although, next time I will try to roast the peppers to very well charred. I already got excited just imagining the smokiness and flavor from that. So that's it. And if you have any suggestions as to how to make this even better, please comment down below and let me know. And as always, please hit the like button if you like this video. And while you're there, consider subscribing as well for more videos in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a good one.